you will live your life at the level of the quality of the question you ask yourself and others. Here's the formula for engagement. Healthy, awesome, remarkable, meaningful engagement. It's sharing, which we just talked about, plus questions, plus listening. Ask what and how questions rather than why questions. Why questions need to stay in the realm of philosophy, philosophical. Why do you get up every day? Why does your company exist? Like, why questions need to be reserved for philosophical conversations. Okay but they are kryptonite, they are damaging, they are almost toxic to relationships, to relational mm -hmm. conversations. Usually if a question starts with why, when, or who, listen, why, when, or who, it is a blame game question. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is a question that is designed to alleviate any responsibility from the person asking them and putting it on someone else. Why questions are great philosophically, they are terribly relationally, because why questions put people on the defensive or the offensive. That's what I was just thinking, yeah. So if I asked you, why did you do that, Tyler? You're either gonna fist up to defend, mm -hmm. or you're gonna go fist out to go on the offense, like, well, who are you? Yeah. But if I said, hey, Tyler, what led you to that decision? Hmm. Now all of a sudden you get to share with me, you get to, you, you get to tell me a story, you get to have a conversation yeah. with me that's neither defensive or offensive. So if people just began relationally, and you would be shocked. Just take inventory. How many times you ask somebody why, hmm. relationally. Watch how your vocal art changes. Watch how your relationship changes. When you just start swapping out why for what and how, relationally, just start there. Watch relationships that you thought were almost beyond repair start being repaired. Hmm. Because what you're doing with the what and how is you're inviting somebody into your narrative. You're inviting them to, ex to explain what's going on, to help hmm. you understand. So rather than, why are you late again? <laughs> but you're gonna put them on the offense. You, you can say, hey, what's going on? You're late every Thursday. So yeah. just tell me, what's going on in life? And all of a sudden you've given that person the permission, the freedom to tell you something. Whenever you're faced with a situation, uh, question it by asking what or how, not why, when, who, or who. Yep. And then like you said, contain I uh, in that question. Uh, so if you're focusing on action above all else, and that was the last point I wanted to uh, to pass along, is is putting the blame on someone else, there's no action involved. Uh, so you want everything that you do, uh, obviously you're completely wasting your time if you're not moving towards a resolution of the problem. So just by speaking to that, uh, you want to do it in a way that, that brings about action, and the only way to do that is through yourself. See, just adding two or three words, which might take 10 more seconds of your time, and asking a what and how question, you are breaking the reality of just having them be a talking head, and you're asking a question that actually lets that person know you're interested in their story. You're actually interested in what happened to them. So you have to start asking yourself better questions. You have to start asking others better questions if you want better results.